Captain's Log, date February 22, 1943. After that spectacular show resulting in three sunk cruisers, I've decided to reposition the sailfish. The chances of the Japanese rerouting shipping and sending hunter-killer groups to this area is very high at this point. We have been ordered to 140 east by 30 north, approximately 450 nautical miles southeast of Peleliu. Our only offensive weapons at this time are six Mark 14 torpedoes and two cuties. Fuel supply is still good, however, and morale is still high. Hopefully we can find some targets in our newly assigned area, so we can shoot off these eels and uh, go to Brisbane soon. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here. Welcome back to more Silent Hunter 4. As you can see, I'm kind of cruising around at radar depth, and I have detected something of interest as we are moving more uh, northwest to our new patrol area, uh, just off of Peleliu, Pe and uh, I detected this convoy, and it seems we have one ship on uh, our radar scope at the moment, and it looks like they are heading northwest at a speed of medium, so let's go ahead and plot that out here. They're kind of coming straight for us, and I was just sailing at radar depth, as you can see, and they're at about 180, so let's just sweep over that area, and yep. Okay, so I can see quite a few smoke plumes off in the distance. See one, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, I do think I see five. Could be mistaken, but it does look like five to me. Very hard to see. I don't know if you guys can uh, make that out, however. Um, but they are heading straight for us, which makes Single this pretty contact. convenient. Bearing. So the torpedo situation, I have two forward torpedoes and two aft torpedoes. I wish I could unload these cuties, but uh, at last I can't. I don't know if I want to, I could try to shoot, do a forward attack with two and then re-engage with my last two tubes. Who knows, but again, we need to first identify what these guys are. So let, let's let them uh, go ahead and close in. And it looks like the lead is definitely an escort with his uh, peculiar zigzagging movements. Let's go ahead and turn towards them a little bit. <clears throat> Alright. It's interesting. It seems the Japanese have adopted the convoy system at this point. At least in this area. Because I've been detecting... Well, i detected quite a few convoys. Lots of convoy traffic so far. Which I am not complaining about. So it looks like we have three merchants. And then there's probably a stern escort as well. Which is that last plume of smoke. Yep, there he is. Right on schedule. Alright, so. I'm gonna. It looks like I'm gonna end up doing a stern torpedo attack. Because I do not want to get detected by our friend right here. Who is a little close. Oh wow, and that is very pretty. It's probably not good to look at the sun through a periscope. I'm sure that cannot be good for your eyes. Anywho, they're at 336. Well, that's before I change course, isn't it? Let's see, where where are you guys at? Yes, sir. Sweeping. No sound contact. Oh, well, let's just do... Oh, there they are. All right, well, there's our destroyer friend. And, wow, okay. Three pretty large merchant ships there. And then the stern escort... Cannot... I don't see him. So he might be out of visual range. Even though I highly doubt that. Well, um, that is definitely a destroyer or a sub-chaser of some sort. So I'm going to try to steer clear of that. I'll probably shoot one, two torpedoes. I don't know. I could shoot one and one, but I think it's probably safer to shoot two torpedoes at one ship to uh, confirm a kill. Let's take a look at what these guys are. They have the short stack. I think I have some idea what these are. Like once I see it, I'll know it. No, it's not an Akita. I don't think it's a... No. I think I know what it is. I don't want to say it and then uh, be an idiot. So, Nagara. 
Yep, I think that these are just a bunch of Nagara Marus. Um, let's keep looking real fast just to see. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go with that. So let's lock that in for all of our friends. Now there, it is possible that I could shoot and swing around in time to launch a stern torpedo, my stern torpedo tubes. Because I only have two in the bow. And what's wrong with tube six? Um, why is it grayed out? They're loading it? Oh, are they actually unloading the torpedoes? Oh my god, man your battle stations. If I can reload the Mark 14s, so that would be ideal. We'll see. We'll see what they do. I think they actually are. Well, we'll see. We'll find out. I don't know what the hell they're doing then. Okay, well, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I have a, a situation developing here. And there's a stern escort. I don't know how I didn't see him before. And I'm more concerned about this guy. All right. Oh, and we need to go to Periscope Depths. Yes, sir. Periscope depths. And uh, lower our radar mass. Yeah, that that could have been bad. I'm glad I remembered to do that. Hopefully, he did not see my uh, radar mass sticking out of the water, or my periscope, for that matter. However. He is coming right for us. This could be very bad for us. I suppose we'll find out shortly. <sighs> okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and take a look. See. Um, am I crazy? Oh, they're just, I don't know how I missed that. All right. Uh, what's the torpedo situation? I don't understand what the hell is happening here. So did they unload the cutie? I don't know. They're just loading the cutie back in. Okay, whatever. Y'all do whatever you want. Yeah, let's lock on to this homeboy. And bring out our carometer. Mark and mark him down and we shall follow him through his journey for three minutes and just keep an eye on all these other fellas mostly that escort make sure he doesn't get a too chummy all right let's get ready to mark Hopefully this will be a nice smooth kill. Even though there are two escorts and they're actually escorts that we have to contend with. They're not cruisers like the last couple of convoys. Okay, Mark. Let's get to the map and mark them down. Uh, the last convoys were pretty easy because they had no ASW capabilities. Nine knots. Alright. Get out of here. Alright, plug in Nueve. There we go. Mark that in. And now we just need to lay in wait. Can probably slow down to about half a knot. Just need to crawl at this point. Make sure we're maintaining depth. Okay. Yeah, they just... I don't understand what they did there. 
see now they're unloading the cutie Ugh, I don't I need to figure that out it's a little too late now but it would be helpful just to unload the cuties and load in mark 14s for later because those cuties are just so situational oh shit they spotted us didn't they Uh oh. Oh. Hmm. Probably hurt us unloading our torpedoes. Let's see here. We can still salvage this, I think. This guy does have depth charges, though. Maybe they're just changing course. Eh. This. We can try to shoot this tin can. Oh, what are they doing? Maybe they're just adopting a zigzag pattern for fun? Yes, sir. Rig for silent running, please. Because the way this escort is acting, it doesn't seem like he Those detected us. We'll find out. We will find out. Let's slow our scope just a little bit. Okay. Alright, and so we have been detected. Tube 7 is the cutie, correct? No, tube 5. Tube 5 and 6. I could swing around. Or I can just keep waiting, because it doesn't look like he has a good fix on where we are. I could be very wrong about this. He's just sitting there. Oh man, that is so tempting. That is very tempting bait. I'll stop, please. Alright, I think I might try it. If only I had an electric torpedo. Oh, that would be so delicious right now. Um, no. Fabuki? Yeah, I think that is him. Mark. Range. Plug that in there. Mark. AOBs. Alright, not too shabby. About a 70 degree angle from what I can gather. And plug in like a quarter of a knot. <sighs> is it worth it? Torpedo settings, high, tube one. High contact, depth of zero. Man, I just, I really want to, honestly, but I think he'd spot our torpedo's wake before it even uh, reached the ship. Cause it's still fairly light out. We still have, uh, I mean, the sun just set like a few minutes ago. I know well, let's just watch and wait and see what he does for a little bit. I think it might be better just to uh, wait for these guys to come up for us. He obviously has zero clue where we are. Can we... We could turn around and use a cutie. Let's start turning. Hard to port. Yes, sir. Hard to port. Runner to port. Runner Problem to port, is, sir. there we go. There we go. Up, oh, he's pinging us now. Open tube six. All right, tube six, fire. What? Tube six looks loaded to me. Or tube five looks loaded. God damn it, you guys. Oh my God. 
I've shafted us. It says tube six is ready though. I understand how tube six isn't ready. Two five looks ready though. I don't understand what I've done. That whole unloading loading nonsense is a little confusing. Loading 42 out of... Alright. Well, let's keep turning. We'll use tube 7 and 8 on the merchant ships. Oh, he's moving. Shit, he might have detected us. Alright. Okay, 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 okay. Speed was nine knots here. Mark. And bring up the recognition manual. He was an Akita Maru, right? Right. No, 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 he was not. Once I see it, I'll know it. It was a Nippon Maru, right? A Nagara, Nagara. Correct. Mark. Range. Mark. That. AOB. Pitiful. Honestly. Mark. Speed 9 knots. Open tube 7. We want high contact influence. Torpedo depth. Minimal. Open tube 8. Same thing. We'll have an offset angle to the left of 1 degree. Open tube 8. Tube 7. Fire. Tube 8. Fire. See how that does. And emergency dive, please. Down scope. Uh, we should have plenty of room to work with in this area. I'm not too worried about depth. And let's rudder in midships. Let's just head north. Zero. Yes, sir. Zero. Good depth. See how they did. Oh, those are bad. <laughs> I don't think those are gonna hit. I think they're definitely going a lot slower than nine knots too. One, zero, zero. I think they slowed down. Four, four, zero. Ah. Well, I suppose it was worth a shot. Yeah, they're barely even moving. Look at that. I'm probably going like five. Blasted. All right. Well, I guess it was worth a shot. Now, now it's their turn, I suppose. We already passed the thermal layer. We're at 155 feet. Let's go down to about. Boy, let's go to 240. 238. Yeah, that works. Alright, and let's go ahead and slow down. Two knots. I'm sure. Oh, they're both coming for me. How wonderful. It's an interesting conning tower design. Alright, so he has two just depth charge racks and a Y thrower here. That should be fun to deal with, and I think this is another Fibuki. Yep, sure is, so. Decent amount of firepower. I think we'll be okay. Slow down more. Police? And now we wait. God, I can't. Well, that was a waste of two torpedoes. Thank you. Damn it. Sounded like he just switched the short scale, so, uh, and uh, I think he's going on his run. Alright, all ahead full. Turn to the west, please. You ready, boys?
Alright, those sounded... Sounded relatively close. Can't say I'm uh, too pleased with that. Alright, slow down. But no, no critical damage. As of yet, so I think we'll be okay. Alright, so I will continue on... Uh, on this course trying to evade them and uh, I'm just going to get out of here and reposition to our new area uh, if we do escape but if we start getting pummeled pretty badly I will continue recording so I'll see you guys shortly alright we've been hit pretty badly okay I guess it wasn't as bad okay so they pretty much just hit our conning tower our whole damage is at 27%. Oh my god. Uh, let's go a little deeper. Yikes, yikes. This is not good, guys. No flooding. But that was pretty brutal. Jesus. I don't want to go too deep, though. Oh my god. I think we messed with the wrong destroyers. These guys are pretty relentless. Uh, okay, at least it was only our sonar stack. That's that's fine. And like a bunch of uh, mostly radio and radar equipment. Our TBT was damaged as well. And our periscopes. Guys, this is not good. Uh, let's change course northwest. I guess we, our only choice is to really go deeper. And where we are now below test depth. One is coming right over the top. Can hear his engines chugging above us. Yikes, this is not good, folks. All ahead full. Battery power is about halfway depleted. Here we go. Cross your fingers. Let's dive deeper. Okay, it sounds like that first one was pretty far away, so I'm not concerned about that one. Uh, Looks like we just got rattled around a little bit. That was not too bad. So maybe that one hit was just... Maybe that one hit was just really lucky. Uh, I suppose we'll find out. I will keep you guys updated as these guys pummel us. It looks like the merchant ships are kind of splitting up and going on their own while uh, these Fabukis give us hell so I will see you guys momentarily so it is now 930 at night and it seems we finally given them the slip uh, the only depth charge pattern that got even close to us was the one I informed you about where they damaged quite a bit of our uh, conning tower and I don't know what the hell's going on with these torpedoes uh, so We'll go ahead and secure from Silent Running and let them figure that out while we are 300 feet below the surface, more or less. So I'll just let them do their thing there. And uh, we'll go ahead and continue back on our course. I've been uh, zigzagging quite a bit. And uh, yeah, those destroyers gave us a pretty good thrashing. We need to be a little more careful, I think. Um, obviously, that was kind of a waste. I kind of just snapshotted those torpedoes and... It didn't go anywhere, it didn't pay off, so. And our battery is now down to 50%, so. Uh, that didn't last too long. They dropped quite a few patterns after our last uh, update, so. That was exciting, I suppose. Uh, we need to be careful, though. We are at 
28% hull damage, so that's not very good at all. Um, I think that's the most damage the sailfish has sustained ever, actually. I could be mistaken, but I, th I th really do think that is. We've been strafed by quite a few aircraft, so let's go ahead and head up to periscope depth and take a look through our night scope. If we can, I know this one was uh, damaged. Um, two four long range. Okay, well we'll find out. And we'll come up a few more feet, please. To not see. There we go. All right. Looks like the waves are quite a bit choppy. Or are choppy. Not quite a bit choppy. That's not proper English. Yeah, it looks like the weather has gotten a lot worse. That might be one of the reasons we gave them the slip. So we can thank the weather for our uh, survival, I suppose. But that could have ended badly. But it could have gotten a lot worse as well. So I suppose we are in fact lucky and I think everything's clear uh, there were no hydrophone contacts at all this is just a precaution so I don't surface and uh, they're just sitting there waiting for us to surface alright I think we're good so surface the boat and let's replenish our batteries and we can go ahead and secure from battle stations as well let my men get some rest alright so that was some excitement. So I will keep moving onward to our new destination and uh, I'll see you guys shortly. So we have arrived on station of the Peleliu Raibal shipping lanes and uh, we're supposed to conduct anti-shipping operations and remain here for 72 hours. So we might be here a little while, but so far nothing has been detected. So we will uh, just increase our search pattern a little bit. I'll go search this northern quadrant uh, after we search down here, so uh, we're just looking. We are just looking. So I will see you guys momentarily. Well, I was just finishing up patrolling this area, and we got new orders to. Uh, well, let's see if it updates. Conduct anti-shipping right. <laughs> conduct anti-shipping operations southwest of Guam. So that is pretty far north uh, towards the Marshalls or the Marianas. I'm sorry. And uh, this is the farthest the sailfish has ever gone. Now that I'm thinking about it, at least sailing out of Australia. We were obviously based out of Manila in our S-boat, but... So, wow, uh, fuel should be okay. We've only used about a quarter of it, so... Uh, probably... Sh we definitely should be fine. I'm underestimating this boat's range. I'm not too worried about it. And if uh, push, comes, push comes to shove, we can always resupply, refuel at Tulagi to... Uh, to make it back home to uh, Brisbane, which I might just do as a precaution anyway. Alright, so we'll go ahead and plot a course. It's only going to take 97 hours. Let's see. Let's, let's see how long it'll take. So, 66 hours, and we'll just go in a straight line. Let's cut the, cut the chit-chat, right? Alright, and uh, I'm sure air cover is going to be horrendous over here. So, that's going to be fun. But hopefully the uh, shipping traffic's good. I have no doubt that the shipping traffic out of Guam will be heavy. Let's see here. So there actually is a uh, convoy lane that sails from pretty much the home waters right past Guam to Rabol. So I will try to position myself around that. Let's see here. Nope, wrong screen. Looks like it was west of Guam. Yeah, just west of Guam, so that should be good around here. Maple Grove is the uh, operation name for it. All right, so I will go ahead and head that way, and I'll see you guys momentarily once we get there. I'm sure aircraft cover is going to get heavy, so I will update you guys um, when that happens. And I'm kind of nervous because that is pretty scary. So I'll see you shortly.